Hi, my name is Steve Levinson, and I'm here to talk about really good movies. My subject today is Disconnect, written by Andrew Stern, directed by Henry Alex Rubin, and released in 2013. Disconnect is a big movie. It is ambitious in tackling its daunting subject matter and bleak in its view of American society. In fact, the 108 minutes long disconnect is so big, ambitious, and bleak that its apparently limited release was given little attention. Hollywood virtually ignored it, and relatively few people saw it, but it was one of the year's best films. Disconnect is about the corrosive and destructive qualities of virtual online communication. In the film's world, the internet erects barriers that inhibit healthy social relationships between people and inflicts extreme physical and psychic harm on them. All this leaves people in a state of disconnect. They are isolated, alienated, and desperately lonely. The instruments of this emotional devastation are the laptop computer, the iPad, and the cell phone. And the forms of social mayhem on which Disconnect has chosen to focus are cyberbullying, identity theft, and online sex chat rooms. Two 10th grade boys, Jason and Fry, target a shy, introverted, and musically gifted classmate, Ben, as an easy mark for torment. Ben has no friends, communicates with his family in monosyllables, and has composed a haunting melody on his high-tech electronic piano. As an aside, the melody morphs into a refrain in Max Richter's superb music score and, during one kaleidoscopic sequence, soaks the visual imagery with a kind of universal kol nidre that will break your heart. Anyway, Jason and Fry invent a fictional girl, Jessica, with a crush on Ben. Jessica texts Ben with professions of love and affect attraction, along with a racy selfie of her unclad middle 70%. Jessica adds for, ad asks for a similar selfie from Ben in return. Touched and flattered by the apparent attention, Ben reciprocates with a very ill-advised selfie of his own unclad and lipstick-adorned nether regions, which of course goes viral to the whole school. Humiliated, Ben hangs himself in his bedroom, where he is discovered alive but comatose by his sister. Meanwhile, Ben's self-absorbed father, Rich, a corporate lawyer, is called by a television station client to advise it regarding what to do about an investigative reporter Nina Dunham, who has crossed ethical lines in developing a story dealing with the online sex chat room industry featuring an 18-year-old boy, Kyle, who is a key player in a highly organized teen porn pay-per-view chat operation. Later, in pursuing the identity of his son Ben's tormentors, Rich aggressively confronts Mike Dixon, Jason's father, who is an ex-cop turned private investigator specializing in internet crimes. Mike, in turn, has been retained by Derek and Cindy Hull, whose infant child has recently died. Cindy grieves for the child in an online support group with Stephen, an empathetic member of, an, of the online group who has lost his wife to cancer. Derek and Cindy have suddenly found themselves penniless from identity theft and Mike advises Derek and Cindy that Stephen is the likely culprit. And I only scratched the surface. With its all-star cast that includes Jason Bateman, Hope Davis, Frank Grillo, Michael Nyquist, Paula Patton, Andrea Risenborough, Alexander Skarsgård, and Max Tiarot, Disconnect builds to a crescendo of confrontation that will leave you aching for miserable mankind. I'm Steve Levinson, and I give this movie four stars. Thanks for listening.